Hello. We're going to draw pictures of the trees. We're going to draw the trees. We're going to paint them. We're going to put them in the thing with the stuff. We're going to draw. We're not going to paint them. We're just going to draw them. All right. You got a pencil? All right. Let's draw. Trees. 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 Uh, I'm going to do a couple different kinds. We'll do them across here at the bottom right here. Oh, yeah. We'll uh, draw some trees. All right. First kind of tree that we're going to draw with a pen or pencil or whatever you got, charcoal, is kind of like a, what do we got, like an oak tree, maybe? So the trunk is like this. It goes up on both sides like that. Uh-oh. I think my pen's dying. Oh, no. I must get the new pen. All right. There we go. So we got uh, like a trunk on both sides. There we go. And so now we're going to add like a branch right here going up. And another bra another part of the branch. Just go like that. Nope. Taper it down just a little bit. You want to go. And then taper it to like a smaller part. So it's like the joint in the arm of the tree. And then you go. So now it's like it bent a little bit. Now it's tapered down even more. And then you're going to put like some a little bit longer but just just like really small and then add some branches to that so you got a little Y right there so this part is like my favorite part because this a tree is just random right it's the most random thing it goes this way and it goes that way it goes all of the ways you know there's no specific I don't know you could with specific trees I guess there's certain structure but uh, we'll just we'll just have fun with this one we can have it go like a branch there and then a branch coming out of that branch and then another branch going like right there and another branch coming out of that branch and then maybe off one of those branches do another little branch like that all right so we got that part and then maybe we go up like this do another another branch going up so go straight up and then over like that perfect perfect i like it it's perfect look at that Okay, now we're gonna put one more branch over here. Just kind of tuck it into the side of that one. We'll go straight out over here and then up. And we'll go like that. So now we got a good branch right here. We could put like a tire swing if we wanted to do. We could put like a tree house up in there. So it's nice and wide right there. Okay, then we're gonna do the same thing that we did with these, with that one over here on these ones. So we're gonna add some branches like that, some little extras. Another little branch with a little extra, another little branch with a little extra, and then another little branch. All right, then we go like this, and like this, and then we go like this, and we go like that. Okay, look, 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 look at it. Linda, look at it. All right, so then we're down right here, by the bottom of the tree, we're gonna put some grass. We're gonna go like, like you're signing your name or something. So you get a little tufts. And then maybe in the front, we'll go, like that and then and then oh we're gonna add the greens the greenery up in here so what I like to do it when I when I add the green stuff is instead of getting all super detailed right I just go straight out from here and I go yeah, one leaf another little leaf another leaf another leaf another leaf another leaf 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 so it's like a hairdo you know, it's like a hairdo for a tree. And then you go, and then you tuck it in right there. All right, so we got, see, it doesn't matter if it lines up or whatever. You can make it match, you know. And I'm doing these really quickly, but you could take your time and make it look really sweet and color it in and do all kinds of stuff. So then right here in these branches, we're going to like, we're going to like cover these branches up with some leaves, right? And we're going to stick some random leaves like on the edges right here. So you're going to go in and maybe... Maybe finish this leaf right here. We finish that one. And then maybe put like another leaf like right there. Another leaf like right there. But just like half a leaf. We'll do like half a leaf right there. We'll do another half a leaf over here. Maybe one right there. And then like on the branches, we'll do like little leaves like ch -ch -ch. Do little ch -ch 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 -ch. You know? Ch -ch -ch -ch. It'll look cool because if you go to color it in, you can like do the darker stuff underneath to make it look shaded and then the lighter stuff on there. So you don't have to do that part. That's getting a little too detailed, Michael. All right. Another thing, too, if you want to get a little detailed is if you, you put the wood grain on there. So you can do like a little and then 
just make some little pattern you know that has like a little wood grain type thing going on you know maybe stripe the the arms of the tree i mean the branches you know you could do all kinds of variations of that and then add some little mushrooms down here you know you gotta have some mushrooms under there what was i thinking mushrooms later on we're gonna draw some crystals oh that's gonna be cool put some crystal down there anyways we're gonna draw another tree and this tree is like one of my favorite trees it's a really easy tree to draw it's just a, a like a silhouette of an of a like a pinion pinion pine some kind of tall pando rosa pine or something like that so we go straight you want to draw the whole tree all the way to the top and you're like down in the ground right there that's the bottom so you maybe you add some little branch or some little things right there maybe i'm gonna make this a little thicker like this uh oh that's running out we gotta grab another one there we go all right so we're gonna make this tree about like that tall so we'll just fill it in just have fun right here we got a nice toothpick look at my toothpick all right so then we're gonna add some some branches we're gonna go like this so you can have fun with that little noise too you you're just basically making a little uh, triangle up against there so you space it out maybe like that much or a little less or a little bit more and they don't necessarily have to line up on the other side you can like variate because trees are not perfect every time they come out in weird conditions you know so we go to this one or I go like this another one right here and sometimes the one on the very bottom is a little bit bigger than the rest but not always but so I kind of do that in the top one maybe like go like like that and then you do the same thing down the other side so you can go like this you can go like this you can go like this and then you can go like and then you go see on this one I lined them up perfectly so like I, I did exactly the same on both sides well not exactly but you know what I mean symmetric symmetric is that a word symmetric -y. I did it all symmetric -y. And then, so then you could do that, or you could do one that's not quite like that. I'll show you what the difference is. All right, here, watch. So you do another one right here, like this. And then you make a bunch of these right here, and another bunch of these right here, another bunch of these right here. And maybe make this one like a little tiny one. This one's like a little bigger. And then this side. Is little you always want to make that top one really small you don't want to make that top one really big I guess that's the rule right and then you do this one see okay so this is this time I'm not gonna copy exactly I'm gonna make it slightly different so you just go up here maybe do one right there and then you maybe do like a big one right there like on that side maybe like a little tiny one right here like this and then another one like there right like that and then another one little tiny one right there see and it's it gives it some variation doesn't have to look exactly the same and it kind of you know it gives it a little more natural feel all right so then there's another so the other thing with these ones that's really cool is that like if you color them in like paint if you do this all in black paint and then you can go back with color paint and white and then just like add red to the or brown or red or whatever to the to the trunk and then add a little green on top of the black that you already painted it's like a real quick way to draw a tree or paint a tree all right, another tree, like just like this, but slightly different. So this kind of the tree is like, hmm, let's see. Let's see, we're going to go one more tree because I like things in fours. <laughs> so this tree, hmm, hmm, how should we make this tree? Let's just, hmm, let's think about it for a second. A tree, like a like a random oh you ready are you ready are you ready we're going to paint we're going to make like a dr susie tree but at the same time i'm going to attempt to draw a joshua tree which is really kind of like not easy all right so the joshua tree has this weird kind of like thing that goes like this where it's like stacked on top of itself it's like all these things that bloomed and grew and then kept growing on so they they do this kind of thing they do and then it splits off and like one goes over here and then one goes like this way oh crap did I mess it up yes 
it's kind of like a palm tree a little bit but uh, Joshua trees are really cool man I don't know if you've ever been a Joshua tree in California you will know I cannot explain it but this is you know it's kind of very Dr. Seussy I think maybe he was influenced by jo by Joshua trees just slightly all right so we're gonna go we're gonna keep that going like that same shape just keep it getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller okay and then the Joshua tree has like it just kind of like what is it at the top it's kind of like it's kind of like this a little bit like this like this kind of like a palm tree but then I think it what it is is it just has more of these things it just keeps going like this it just makes more smaller and smaller and smaller and there's just like more of them and they keep going it's like a fractal tree anyways it's like a dr seuss tree right have fun with it another thing you could do is like add some cool tentacles like this and then put you know some suckers on there like that and then add like a little line back there where you can make like a, a tentacle that comes out of it. Here's another tentacle like this with little circles like that for the suckers and a little thing right there. So you could have tentacles, tentacles and or it could have like like robot legs coming out of there like this with a big old boot like this coming down like that. The big boot coming out of there like that. Or it could have like out of the top you can go like this. And then put like a giant pod right here, like a big pod coming out of it. And then you have like teeth where it goes cha 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 cha. And then around here and it goes cha 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 cha. And then around here like that. And then look, you got a giant, look, you got a giant guy right there going Rah! like that. And then maybe you put like a tongue in there. And then he's trying to eat the duck. The duck is up there like, oh no, I gotta get away. Ah, ah, he's freaking out. Oh no, he's gonna, look, he's eating the duck. Oh shoot, not me, I don't want to eat, get eaten today. No, no, don't eat me, I'm just a duck. I didn't mean to do it. But he's going to eat him. Eat the trees. I mean the ducks, the trees eating a duck. So there you go. <laughs> Have fun with the trees. And <laughs> I hope you show me your picture too. I want to see it, send me pictures. I want to see your trees. And I would like to see your probably yours is probably better. So send me a picture. Hello and welcome to the seahorse. We're going to draw the seahorses. We're going to draw seahorse with me. Draw the seahorse. Come on. I want to draw the seahorse with me. Ready? Okay. Also join me on Twitch and Instagram if you can. Uh, a lot of people going over to Twitch. There's lots of stuff to watch. I'm actually live there right now. Come on over. All right, let's draw the seahorse. I've got the pen right here. You could use a pencil, doesn't matter. But I got the seahorse. Uh, I don't really know what they look like, but I pulled one up on the computer and it's a cute little tiny pink seahorse. I like it. So I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna wing it here. I'm just gonna draw it right, like right in here somewhere, right? Somewhere underneath that. All right, now I know where to go. All right, let me pull my seahorse over here. Let me pull the. All right, here we go. Number seahorse number one. First, we'll start with the eyeball. Eyeball right there, little dot, little dot eyeball. And he's got like a nose that goes down like this, and then like it goes out. It's like a little, it's like a little stub, and then a little lip there, and it goes in like this. That's a weird face. I know it's weird, right? We'll do another one. This is not the only one. So he's got the. The head that goes over like that. Oh, I messed it up already. Look at that. This is a funky one, you guys. All right, then I'm going to go like this. And he's got a little thing coming off him like that. And you go up a little further, and he's got another little thing coming off him like that. And you go up a little further, he's got another little thing. And then you go down right here, and he's got another little thing. And then you go like down like that, and he's got a thing. And then, okay, so so check it out. His body is going to go like this. We'll put it like, we'll put it right here. We'll do the whole body real quick. So we'll go down in like a little spiral right there. And then we'll grab the top of here and we'll go like that and meet up with it. Right? Let's go and then now we're going to add all the little things. So he's got all these little things that go like this, like this, and they're bigger, 
And then why is this pen dying on me? Crap. And then they're big, like they're right here, they're little. And then they get bigger, and then they get littler. And tiny, 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 little, tiny, little guys. And it goes all the way around, the little tiny little thing that goes like that. And then in the front, there's the same. It goes like this, like this. Whoa, that's too close. What was I thinking? Well, I'm go like that, like that, and like this, and like this, and like this, and like this. All right, something like that. All right, let's do another one, because that one sucks. And he's got spots. He's got spots all over him, like that. He's a spotty guy. Oh, and he's kind of got these things that go like this. There. Maybe his eyeball's a little bigger. Maybe we'll fix his eye. We'll make it like a giant eyeball right there. And we'll give him a little reflective spot. There we go, his reflective sp Oh. Messed it up a little bit. There we go. There we go. Maybe he's got some... Maybe it's got some like stripes down here like this. There we go, like a shading or something. That's a cute little guy. All right, let's do another one. Let's do another one right next to it. This one we'll, we'll do facing the other direction. Maybe, maybe, oh my God, there's two right here that are kissing. Oh my gosh, they're kissing each other. How cute is that? Okay, we're gonna do another one, but in a different style. And this one's, this one's a little cooler actually. I like this one. So this one's gonna be, look at like a nose kind of, let's just push this button here. All right, ready? Here we go. Second one coming right up. So this one has got the little snorkel thing here. Kind of looks like a snork, it's like, or an anteater a little bit. And then his nose goes up and he's got these little jagged points. And then he's got kind of like an ear right there, it looks like, but he's got these really jagged ones. He's not like this guy all soft. This guy's like hardcore. It's like a dragon horse. Goes straight back. There's a hooks around. He's got a big belly. And he's got this jagged tail that goes down. And he's holding on to something. Oh, it's curled up. It's like... It's jagged, jagged, jagged. He's got some weird position. He's like holding on to a branch right there. There's like a thing going right here. It's like a leaf. There's another little leaf right there. All right, and then... Am I even in the picture? You guys, come on, tell me I'm a, what the heck? Get up in there. All right, so he's got his tail like around a branch thing right here. That's too complicated. Don't even worry about that. Just do it the same as that one. I'm getting carried away. I know. Get your freaking font out of the way. All right. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do the back of the, here we go. Sorry if I'm going too fast. All right, the back, it goes like this. And then it's like, this and it goes like that okay and then this he's got like these ridges man he's got like like ruffle ridges man they kind of go like this like a spider web almost right there and then the eyeball is like all crusty right here it's got a big old crusty eye with like some jagged eyeball thing, some eyeball jaggedness. He's super jaggedy, did I mention that? He's got some shading down there like that. And then he's got like a backpack on, cause he's going on a trip. And then he's got a fishing pole back there just in case, you know, with this fishing line and stuff. And then he's got like a sleeping bag back there, like in the back right there, he's got a sleeping bag. And then he's like, I'm on a trip. He's like telling her, I'm on a trip. All right. She's like, yeah, man, I'm going. I'm gone. I'm out of here. I'm out of here, bro. I'm out of here. I'm on a trip. I'm out. Oh, wait, we're going to finish this part. And then he's got, he's got those ridges too, but I put a backpack on him so you can't really see it. He's got him on the front too. He's like super spiky. He's like super spiky. She's all sweet and like soft and look at all. Ah, they're like soft. And he's like, ah, I'm jagged. I am rough. I got a backpack. He's got a Nalgene bottle, bottle attached to the side right there. He's got a water filter. He's got an extra part right here with the big zipper on the side. Dude, he's ready. He's like his bug out bag right there. Let's go. All right, go and show me pictures. I want to see yours. Show me. 
Let's draw some crystal clusters, crystally clusters. Let's draw them, shall we? <laughs> come on, come on, draw some crystals with me. Ready? Let's draw them right now. All right, right here. We're gonna hold. Let me get this thing out of the way. Let's go up, go up there. Okay, we're gonna draw some crystals. We're gonna make them all like nice and fat. We're gonna make fat crystals. <laughs> Like that. You gotta make sharp edges, like cut the corners there, make them all jagged. We're gonna do the top of the crystal right there. We're gonna go back down like this, and then back down, like that. And then we're gonna go over here, and we go, and right here we're just. I like to make them pretty random. Like I'm not trying to follow any rules or anything. I just make them like however I want. And then you go like here, go. Maybe we'll take this and go, and then right here we'll go. You know, that's probably not right, but it's fun. We'll go like that, and then maybe we'll down here we'll go and right here like that. I don't know. Just make it up. Just do a bunch of random lines like this. But you want to like make the tops kind of like that sometimes, or like that. You know, do like this shape or like a pointy shape. But then, okay, then down at the bottom, you could add like a bunch of little ones. Like the ones that go like this, that are real long, and then they're pointy like that. And then you can put one like right here, it's really long and pointy like that. And then another one that's like really long and pointy like that. Like that. Oh, that was just kind of messed up. Just have fun with it. Just like make a bunch of crystals. Take your time. Here's another one. Just kind of like randomly they don't have to look just like mine it's fun just have like fun with it make lots of little pyramids but then uh, when you do that when you fill in the whole space you just kind of put some random ones in there uh, connect them like make some like surfaces so that there's all kinds of different angles so like right here this one might have like this like the reflection of like this direction going like this so put some like couple little things like that and like this one's probably going this direction so we'll go and you want those kind of to be lighter than the outside line maybe we'll go over the other the other line but this is just for you know for fun just for quick quick funds and then right here we'll connect that one and then we'll like we'll go down right here and we'll go maybe add some grass right there we could add some grass over here and then in the, in the back, we'll add some more big crystals. So we'll Maybe another one right here. Big fat one in the background. Look at that. Maybe right here at the top. And then we'll make them a little more dimensional. So we'll go from the top part of the point. We'll come straight down at an angle. And then we'll go to there. Like maybe match up there. And then go straight down like that. So we'll do that over here too. We'll make a little pew pew and then go straight down. Do it right here. Pew, pew. So you're making like a little diamond shape at the top and then go straight down. Pew. So you could do that on some of these. Make a little diamond and then straight down. Make a little diamond and straight down. And make a little diamond and then go straight down. And then you got some crystals right here too. Pew. And then maybe we'll put like one giant fat one in the background like that and go straight back like that and then maybe do this angle like that and we'll fill that in like this we'll do this one look I didn't even finish that one make it kind of like a diamond there and go straight down maybe fill this in this is kind of like left open so let's let's stick something in there let's go straight down like this and then we'll we'll split it off we'll go and then right here, we'll stick some grass. And like right here, we'll go into the grass. We'll do some more. And then, you know, just for good measure, you got to add some mushrooms in there. Some little, put a little mushroom right there. Some grass over here. It's good to put other objects in there so you know, like, kind of like a reference to where you're at. You're like, oh, it's in the meadow with some mushrooms. There's a big old cluster of crystals. Put a little mushroom right there. Nice little mushroom over here. There we go. 
and then and then just go in and kind of like add reflections but leave a couple of them blank like don't don't put too much of this stuff on every single one of them because then that way when you, if you add color it'll like give you space to add different colors different shades of the same color put some more grass back here all right so we'll go in here and we'll add a couple we'll do like right here we'll add this a bunch of lines right there we'll add a bunch of lines right here so try not to get too many like that are up against each other like that like try to space them out so we'll do like this over here we'll do this one right here we'll do we'll add a little thing here like that and then we'll do that we'll fill that one in there we go so there we go i got a little cluster maybe we'll add a couple more of these long ones here actually we'll just fill in the rest of it back there with big ones like that big long ones we'll do another one back there we'll do another one right here another one back there and put another one like right here put another one right here and then another tiny little skinny one right there and then maybe like one like right here and then maybe like maybe like we'll do a little thing like that and we'll finish these little diamonds we'll make these little diamonds real quick and then we'll add the lines and like I said before, I'm just doing this real fast for the video, but you guys could do it slow and just take your time and, you know, enjoy doing it, make it look badass. All right, there you go. We got a cluster of crystals. Thank you for watching. Put another mushroom right there. Thank you. I, wa I would like to see your pictures. Send them to me. I want to see all of the pictures. Send them the messages and the things and the Instagrams and the places. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Let's. What are we drawing next? We're gonna do some more. We're gonna. We're gonna draw a sexy robot. Oh. <laughs> come over to Twitch. It's a great place. You should come on over, and just follow me on Instagram. We're gonna draw a sexy robot now. We're gonna draw a sexy robot. We're gonna draw a sexy robot. How do we do that? I don't even know what to, what to start. Boobs, I guess. I don't know. I'm trying to say robot. Little blur. Oh, what? <laughs> okay, okay. Sexy robot. What does a sexy robot have? It has a big steel face. I don't know how we're going to get sexy robot out of that square, but we're going to. We got sexy robot face. We've got sexy robot neck. All right, so we got a, basically we got a triangle, a rectangle, on top of another one. Right there. Then we're gonna. How does? <laughs> what lips? We'll put the lips on there. We'll put the lips. I think lips are pretty sexy. I think lips are pretty sexy, Michael. So basically, the letter M. With a little U under it, right there. Just do a letter M, M with a U. There you go. And then she's gonna have like one of those futuristic like eyeball things with a go straight across. So like you remember when it was all, you know, one of those. The eyes that go like that. So we're gonna give her like one of those. The eyes that go. You know what I mean, though. You know what I mean. It's like red and glowy. Like that, and then maybe we'll give her like a like a round little thing up here, with some like little antennas, like a nice a nice little antenna. It's a nice antenna right there. Nice antenna, Santana. That's nice Santana. <laughs> All right, now comes the sexy part. <laughs> so, so we're gonna do like, we'll give her shoulders right here, right? I'll give us some shoulders, and then we're gonna give her a little circle. Like a half circle or not. That's not a circle, Michael. What is that? It's like a little, like, a swoop. It's like a little swoop. So from there, from the edges, you go straight out like that. And then you do a little swoop. Slip it. Like that. Okay, then now we're going to give her, like, a... We're going to taper down. We're going to give her, like, a little... Hey, this could be a sexy ro guy robot. I don't know. 
All right, then we go like that, right there, and then I'm gonna do like the waist, like all like little tiny little Dolly Parton waist, like that. There we go, very nice. So then we're gonna make like a little thing right here, like the spine, like the little connector, right there, and then we'll right behind there, we'll make some nice hips that go out like this, some nice robot hips. See the robot hips? All right, then we'll go, we'll go like that. We got the top of the robot hips, right? Think about this for a second, Michael. How are we gonna do this? All right, um, okay, here we go, I got it. So then we're gonna add a leg. Maybe she's like, that. maybe, what, a leg? Really? No, I don't need legs. Well, legs are pretty sexy. Okay, okay, I was gonna, just gonna stick a wheel on it. All right, it's legs, sexy legs. But these legs have to be like doing something sexy, right? We're like standing, how do you stand sexy? I don't know. We'll put some boobs on her first. All right. We'll put, some, we'll put a circle right there. And we'll put a circle right there. And it, we'll make it all classy, right? We'll make it very classy, no nipples. We'll just put a line across the middle like that. Very nice, very tasteful. All right, okay, and then we're gonna, she's got arms, right? She's gotta, gotta have arms. So we're gonna put a, like a circle right here a circle coming out of that right there you just go like up and over like that a little circle we'll connect her arms to like that and then hold on and then let's see how do we do this we'll give her some like little cylinder arms like this there we go very good put some more circles on there like this half circles I guess Wrap it around there. And then we'll put some arms up like this. And now, see, you could like upgrade at the end. I'm just doing like a basic frame, like for a, like a robot, right? Sexy robot. And then you could go back and add accessories at the end. Maybe like a hook, you know, like maybe your guys have a hook. Maybe she's got hands. Mine's gonna have a hook. Anyways, we'll go back to that. But we're gonna go back to the sexy hips. All right, the hips. It's all on the hips. <laughs> so she's gonna have like this, this torso part, I guess, like this. And then it goes like this, maybe, I don't know. Maybe this part comes out like this, and this part like goes in like this. I have no idea. Look at that, it's kinda sexy. And we'll, she'll go out like to her knees like this. <laughs> Alright. Put them in like this. Put them in like this. Sorry. Hold on. We're gonna put some lines on the legs. With the flags. They're stockings or something. Alright. We'll put another claw over here, like this. <laughs> All right, we gotta put some sexy shoes on her now. We'll get, we'll give her some like nice robot heels. <laughs> some little heels right here. Yeah. There's some robot toes right there. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, maybe we'll fill it. Maybe she doesn't have claws. Maybe. <laughs> no, I kind of like the claws. <laughs> Alright, there's your sexy robot. I hope you draw a sexy robot too. And I hope your sexy robot comes over to my house and hangs out. Alright, so send me your pictures. I want to see your <laughs> sexy robot. <laughs> What is she got? What is she holding right here? She's got these magic balls or something right there. Maybe she's got like a tube top. She's got a tube top and she's got striped arms right there. <laughs> there. There you go. I was fancied her up. What else? We've, oh, we'll give her earrings. We'll give her some nice big hoop earrings. Some nice big fatty hoops. Look at that. Nice. Look at those. All right. And then we'll give her, we'll give her like a pompadour. Oh no. We'll give her like a beehive. We got like a beehive, and then we'll, maybe she's got like a cigarette in her hand. She's like, oh gosh, 
I, uh, even though I'm a robot, I smoke. And then, okay, and then we're like, she's got maybe some shading on her neck. And then like, maybe she's got a tattoo. Uh, she's got like a, on her hip, she's got a little heart tattoo because she doesn't have a heart, you know. So, and then, so then you got like, and then the, no nipples though. You gotta keep it tasteful, right? <laughs> maybe we'll <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Very nice. Very nice. Add some. Oh wait, she's gotta have some nice bracelets. She's gonna have like a lot of bracelets, right? Let's stick a whole bunch of bracelets on there, like that. Very nice. Look at that. That's fancy. Oh, maybe on her legs too. Nice. We'll give her some fancy rings around her legs. These are actually like springs, so she could jump really fast. <laughs> Wait, let's just kill her in the air. <laughs> ah, okay, there we go. Sexy robot. Thank you for drawing with me, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs>the trick with drawing a guitar, I mean, you can just draw a guitar, but if you're gonna draw it in the hand of some little person, you're gonna, we'll just give him a little head like this. And punk rock dude. Boop, boop, boop. Little punk rock guy. So uh, if he's gonna have a guitar in his hand, how are we gonna draw that? So get your pen, get your pencil, get your stuff, whatever. We're gonna draw this dude holding a guitar in his hand. All right, ready? So, we're, we're gonna put his guitar like right here and his hand up here. But first you wanna have like a hand in front, like this. We're gonna just make some fingers that go like this in the bottom of his hand, right there first, before you draw the guitar. That way you can just draw behind it, you know? Whichever way you draw hands, like this, doing like a thing. You could even have a few of them bent or have them like coming in like this or something, you know? All right, so then you got some shoulders here. He's got some little shoulders coming down, but then you're gonna put this, you're gonna put that guitar like in there. So behind his fingers here, you're gonna go up like that. And then that's the neck of the guitar right there and then down like that. So then the, it's gonna come in like this all the way to like here. So then you got, that's the whole neck and it's gonna have six strings in there. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> And then the top part is just something like, if it's an acoustic, it's like just something like that. And you're going to have six spots. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then they're going to have little tuning pegs. So you want to put a little, little circle on the e end of each one of those little pegs or those little tuning thingies. So there you go. You got 12 strings. Or not 12. Did I say 12? Six strings. Sheesh. Count, Michael. Come on. So then, okay, you got that, right? You got that down. So then... This the hole is gonna go like right here, but in front of the hole is usually his hand. So let's stick the hand like right here. There's a thumb, and there's a couple fingers, and then they go like that. And put his a pick in his. That's his pick right there. He's got a little pick, and he's strumming these strings. All right. So then the circle is gonna go like right here somewhere, right? He's in front of the circle. So then you connect those strings there. This is just really quick too, it's an example of what to do. And then you can make it better. Okay, then you got this part that goes up like that, and then down here, and you got this part that goes over right here and up, and then big old body like that. Okay, then when you get to here, you're gonna don't go too don't fill it in too quick. Cause you're gonna wanna stick his arm in there. So you gotta stick the arm up like that, going up to his shoulder or something, and then connect this like that to his arm, whatever. And then right there. So now he's, his arm is coming up and over. This is kind of messed up right here. I messed, don't look at that. We'll just color in the shirt, you can't tell. Uh, yeah, I meant to do that. <clears throat> yeah, I meant to do that. All right, so then there you go. So then he's got a really big guitar. It's big. This is, his, this is Mr. Big right here. Mr. Big guitar. He's got some little feet down here. Maybe he's got some boots. Let's give him some boots. Oh, 
All right, now we's we gotta color the rest of them in like this. Oh, we forgot that arm up there. Look at that! I forgot his arm. All right, so you want to go like this and then connect that arm like that, and we'll just fill it in. There you go. Now you have a little dude playing guitar, Mr. Big. We gotta finish his hair. Look at that, he's got some eyebrows. Maybe he's, we could give him a big mouth. Look at all that space. Those will be his teeth. We'll go like this. And give him a little back of his tongue thing. We'll fill that in. And then we put a line right there like that. So he's going, ah. Put some musical notes right there. Maybe some like this little stuff. Maybe some more notes up there like that. There you go, Mr. Big. Draw along. Draw a guitar. And then send me the picture. I want to see. Show me what you drew. There you go. There you go. Thank you for drawing along with me. That was fun. We'll see you soon. Where? Well, over here. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Welcome. We're going to draw Bigfoot. We're going to draw Bigfoot. Right? Well, Bigfoot doesn't really have... He's not that tall. He's just got big feet, right? So we're going to draw his big old toe right there. He's got a big old toe with another big toe, another big toe, and another big toe. And maybe he's another... He's got, like, another big toe like that. And another big... And he's got his nail right there. Another big toe, another big toe, another big toe. He's got big feet. Look at Those are his feet. Those are his bottom of his feet right there. And then he's got these giant feet like this that come up out of there, but he's really fuzzy, right? He's really fuzzy, and he's got these little tiny arms, and his head goes around like that, he's got tiny little arms, and he's fuzzy, and he's this guy, he's cute, he's got these little tiny little eyes, and he's a big old smile like that, and these little tiny little fingers that come off his hands like that. Look, at he's a really happy guy. He's a happy little, he look, and he's got an amulet, and, he's, and it says, we just got B, I'm Bigfoot, yo. Yo, I'm Bigfoot, check it out, I'm Bigfoot. And like sometimes in the summertime he has like a mohawk, you know, and he's like, he's just chilling. He's got really big feet, but he's only like two feet tall. Like maybe, maybe he's like two and a half feet tall, you know, like he's not even that, he's not even that big. He's like a little dude, but he's got really big feet. That's it. He's not even, that's why nobody can find him. They're all looking up here. All right, for real though, we're going to draw Bigfoot. Let me just flip this over. All right, here's Bigfoot. Here's a, let's make a little Bigfoot dude. First, we're going to give him a little eyeball. Another little eyeball over here. And we'll make his mouth like real big and wide, right? He's got a big wide mouth like that. And then a big wide mouth. Bigfoot. All right, and he's going to have like a little face coming out like this. Like he's got a furry little face like this, just real furry, right? But see, on the outside of him, he's like like a bear. Kind of, but he's with the man face. So then he's gonna have like a furry coat that comes up with his with a little ear up here, and a furry coat with another ear up here, and he's like, and then like down here, he's got his little little hands that come out like this. Maybe he's like just chilling with his hands at the at his side, right there, right. So then he's got he's got his little fingers in there. We'll give him some little fingers. His little fingers like that. And another one over there. And then he's gonna go he's gonna have like nice legs that go down like this. And then into his the inside like that. And he do some more little fluffs like that. And then up like that. Okay, then this is the best part because he's got really big feet, right? He's Bigfoot. You can do anything. You can make giant feet, right? So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give him a giant foot. So we're gonna go down right there. This is the beginning part of his foot. And then what are the toes are on the inside, right? The big the big toes are on the inside. So we're gonna give him a big toe like that. We'll give him a big giant toe. And then we'll give him another toe next to that like that. So the line's going like this. And then another toe. How many toes we got? Just four? Okay. And then four big toes like that. And then another one right here. We'll put another big toe like this. And then another little toe like that. And another little toe and then another. So we only have four, right? Four. Okay, and then right here, you're gonna go straight down and then over like this. 
and then right here you're gonna go you're gonna go down from the pinky and over like that and then over here we're gonna go way back in there like that and then give him like a little heel and then go straight up and then right here we're just to the bottom of his foot we'll go straight down from his toe and then up into his pinky and then and then we'll get the top of his foot like that so he's got really <laughs> <laughs> it's your Bigfoot guy. All right, let's try another Bigfoot. Another Bigfoot maybe would be like a dude with like really big feet, right? He's got like really big feet, like clown feet almost. And then he's just like, rah, rah, rah. little tiny hand, rah, 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 rah. little tiny hand, rah, 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 rah. <laughs> and then like some fluffy right here in between, and the little tiny eyeball. <laughs> Eyeballs. It's a little tiny mouth. It's a little, look at his little mouth. And then he's got like, you know, the circle around his face like that. It's that way he's like inside there. But he's got really big feet and really tiny hands. We'll just draw some fingers on there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There you go. Look, that's Bigfoot. All right, next Bigfoot. Next Bigfoot is like a big foot. So we're going to draw like a big top of the foot like that we're gonna go down like that we're gonna go down like that and then it's gonna go down like this and then we'll draw like a toe like that and then another toe like this another toe like that another toe like that and then we're gonna put the nail on there like that phew, 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 phew. And we'll do the underneath like that we'll do the underneath underneath the toe underneath the toe now this is the tricky part you want to go like that and then you go straight back to like right there. And then you want to, oh no, I messed it up. Yeah, maybe like right there. And then you put like a heel right there. You want to put that heel on there. And then you get the little ankle thing that goes like that, comes out on the side. And then it goes straight up like that. And there's your foot. Actually, this is a little, I mean, look at all those toes are the same size. This is a cartoon foot, you guys, come on. And then there's like nothing there. He's got, maybe he's got like socks. And go up like that with some stripes like that or something that's a big foot all right now we're going to draw a very tall big foot right here a big very tall foot all right we're going to get the eyeball right there we're going to draw another eyeball right there we're going to draw this mouth like this maybe he's going he's got a like that and he's got a fluffy ear over here is, oh no, this is not fluff. This is just hair. Never mind. It's got the fluffy hair going like this. And then we're going to give him some man ears to make him look more manly. We'll give him some man ears like this. Little circled ears like that. With some lines inside. And then he's going to like have a big fluffy beard. Like that. And then we're going to... He's got his tongue back there like that. His tongue is down there. And then we're going to color this in. And we'll put a line on the tongue so you know it's a tongue, not teeth. Uh, color that in. He's going, ah, 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 ah. That's what he's saying. Ah. All right. Now he's big, he's buff, and he's fuzzy. So he's going to be like, and then we're going to give him some hands where he's like, I don't know. And that's easy. We just draw a heart, right? So we draw, wait, how do we do that? What does that look like? It looks like a heart, right? So you draw a heart like this. And then that's basically a hand, right? So all, all we need is like some thumbs. We need like little thumbs that go off of there, right? So there's this hand that goes on like that. Put a little line in the middle. And he's like, give me, give me food. Can I have some food? Can I have? He's going like that, and he's he's got his, his thumbs come off of there, right? So his his thumbs go like this. So go. That's kind of like a thumb, right? Maybe. Kind of looks like a thumb. No, is that a thumb? That looks weird. Let's see. Oh, look at, see, it's more like an angle. Let's go like this. It's more like this. More like this and like this. Like that? Anyways. 
put some fingers right down here like this and then we'll add some fluff all the way down like this and then up into his hands so all the way down like this and up into his hands and then we'll add the back part of his hand and the back part of his hand fluff and then he's gonna be like maybe he's gonna be like a meditating Bigfoot you know so he's gonna have his legs out like this he's meditating his legs out like that like this and then he's gonna have he's gonna come in like this and then he's gonna have his giant feet like this with his toes out like that and his toes out like that with his giant what is his heels right there with his giant toes and the extra toes back here look at these extra toes back here and then he's go straight up like this and then some fluff and it, look, he's doing like squats or something. I think he's doing squats. And you could draw some junk down there or something, but I'm just gonna put some fluff like across here like this. And he's like, ah, I do yoga. Bigfoot. Yoga. Yoga. There you go. Ah. <laughs> Ooh, going to draw a bee. Here we go. We're going to draw like a little, like a little bee with a beard, right? Little bee beard. And then we're gonna draw another one, a couple of different bees. So we're start off with the eyeballs. We'll go like this. We'll make a nice little almond shape, and we'll, we'll fill that in. We'll leave it like a little circle right there, it's like a reflection circle, maybe like a little reflection or whatever and then we'll go to make another one right there next to it a little eyeball circle right there fill that in all right then we're going to wait it needs to be a little pointy right there like a pointy nice and pointy on the edges all right now He's gonna have the tiniest little mouth. It's the little tiny, tiny little happy face right here. He's a happy bee. We're not gonna put a nose in there or anything fancy like that. We're just gonna give him a bald head. Whoop. Look at his little bald head. <laughs> He's got some, some gonzo. Wait. Gonzo? Does gonzo have hair like that? No. He has a. What is that? Bozo. Maybe bozo? No. I don't He's gonna put some fluff on the sides, you know, some fluff on the sides. And then we're gonna get him, give him some of these little things that come out like this. These are like how he talks to his friends. He doesn't have a cell phone, he just has these right here. They come out of the top. Okay, and then next we're gonna give him his bee beard, right? We're gonna get, chop it down right here. Chop, chop, chop it, chop it, chop it. And then chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it. A little choppy beard. Look at that, it's a nice beer, it's full, it's very full, it's not patchy or nothing. Alright, then, uh, oh, and then what? What do we do after this? Oh, I forgot. Oh, the wings. We've got the wings right here. We've got a nice little wing right here with the little thing holding the wing up to his back. Okay, what do we do now? Oh, another wing right here. Hold on, we'll put another wing in the background like that. And then between the wings, right between the two wings. <laughs> Right between the two wings right there. You wanna go ch -ch 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 -ch. like give it a little fluff between the two wings. He's a big bee, right? Then you come fluff down to his butt and then fluff down all the way to like I don't know, like right there, and you put a little arm in there. You connect a little arm. He's got a little arm coming up. And then you to go fluff here like this, fluff, 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 and then another little arm right there. I got another little arm right there. And then a little more fluff. And then another little arm right there. So he's got three. You see, the only reason I put three is because, like, in the back, maybe he's got another one right here. You know, he's got another little leg back there. They probably have more legs than this. I don't know. I'm not a technical expert at bees. So then I add another little layer to his foot, another little layer to his foot there, and another little layer to his foot there. You see? We got the extra little thing coming out. Then I put another one right there. And he's all like, a happy little dude. Look at him, he's ready to fly. What is he missing? Oh, he's missing his little stinger. Oh, let's put a little stinger on there. That's not so little, right? We'll, we'll color it in like this. 
<laughs> I wouldn't want to mess with this guy. All right, now he needs stripes because he's a bee. He's got to have like fuzzy black stripes on him somehow. So we're gonna figure that out right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna start from like right here. We're gonna do some jagged Charlie Brown, you know, a little Charlie Brown thing, you know, Charlie Brown's hair, or I don't know, like his shirt. You know, his shirt has that like like that. We'll go like this. And then we'll start one right here and go. And then we'll start one like right here. And go. Maybe put another one right here. Now it looks like a bee. You know, a little bit. I could have been, I could have made him a little fatter right here. I think if I was to do it different, I would have came all the way down right there. Made it a little bit more round. I probably would have started him like right here. And then gone, you know, we could do that right now. Watch. I'll do it real quick to see the difference. All right. So now we're going to make we're going to make his body go like up and behind here and have it just be like one big fluff. So I want to start from like right here and just go ch -ch 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 See how this this kind of got a little too close to there? I'd probably add these on later. Maybe have them both go forward like this. You know, I, I think I'd, it's okay, Michael, you can mess up. All right, and then, and then like put a little leg back here like that, a little leg back here. Little leg down in the front, little another little leg right there, and then a little add little leg, little leg right, other little thing right here, and then add some more like that, and then we'll make that one pointier, and then we'll put like a wing up here like this, and another wing back here, and then we'll here we go, that's pretty cool. All right, we're gonna do another guy, another guy, but it's not gonna be a guy, it's gonna be a girl, a girl bee. Yes, a girl bee has a lemon head. Let's make a lemon head bee. All right, we're gonna make the eyeballs, except these ones are gonna point, go over like pointy up. You see how his were like pointy out? These ones are gonna be pointy up. Like this, like an alien, right? It's an alien, it's an alien bee. And I'm gonna leave a little reflection bubble maybe in there somewhere. So you don't have to, it's fun. All right, there we go. Now we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to give her like, like eyelashes, right? So we're going to like this, 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 like this. Not the perfect, not perfect, but you know, you could take your time. You could take your time with it. We'll give her lips because that's how you know it's a girl bee, right? We'll give her the lips. There's her top lip right there is like an M, the letter M. The letter M, a real fat, wide M there. And then you just want to put like a U, whoop, connect them like that, a little connecty. And then we're going to give her a lemon head, a fuzzy lemon head. All right, how do we give her a fuzzy lemon head? We're going to go. Fuzzy lemon head. Now she's going to get a couple of these little things. And they're going to go forward like that. That way I don't make the same mistake I made down here. So I'm going to have them go forward. And then we could put the body like right here. See how on this one I kind of like did a little thing. I don't even care. I'm just going to go put a leg right here. Put a little leg right here. And put a little leg right here. And put a little leg right here. And then we could add a little extra leg. And we'll add a little extra leg going that way. We'll add a little extra going that way. And then a little extra going that way. Because she's flying, right? And then <laughs> put a little wing right here. A little wing back there. And then we'll give her some stripes. And we'll get another stripe back here. Okay, so a couple things I did wrong right away. Well, maybe not wrong, just things I would do differently. Is I wouldn't have put the body so way over there. What was I thinking? I need to bring it like over here, Michael. 
When did it start it? Like right here. What the heck was I? What was I doing? All right, let's start it again. One more try. <laughs> Four times a charm. I'll give her a little almond eyes with the little lips like that. And then we'll give her the big old... There it goes. Kind of like a piece of pizza. It's more like a pizza face. And then we'll give her just these little things. And then, okay, this is the this is the most important part right here. The body, right? The body. How are we going to do this? Okay, we'll start right here. Go ch 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 We'll get a little arm right here. And go ch 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 Put another arm right there. And then go ch 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 Put a little leg right there. And then ch 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 Put another little leg right there. And then ch 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 It's like a little little lamb or something. Add another little piece of the arm. We'll have him going like back so it looks like she's flying through the air, right? I don't know. Oh, yours is different. Here's a little wing coming out. Here's another little wing back here. And, that, and let's give her stripes. <laughs> Some kind of stripes in here like this. This one is bad. All right, this one is bad. I was shooting for this other one I drew earlier. Look at it. Look, I drew this one right here. I want to, let's do that one. Can we do that one? All right, let's do that one. You guys, I drew a whole bunch of other bees in preparation. Let's do that one too. Let's do that one, that one, and that one. All right. There we go. We're, we're going to go keep going. Ready? Okay, this one this is going to get the, like an eyeball like this. Little lemon eyeball. Another little lemon eyeball like that. Lemony eyes. Le le draw. draw along. Are you going to draw along? All right. And then we're gonna put the little lips down there. We'll get the little M. Put the M with the W, the U. The M with the U underneath. And we'll just fill them in. There we go. And then we'll give her the top of her head. We'll go like this. Like that. And then the bottom of her head. We'll go like this. Like that. All right. Now we'll give her the really long antennas like this. Really long ones. Nice. And then we'll go like this. We'll go. And then right about there, we'll give her a little arm that comes out and then goes up like this. Like a little, little L coming out of there. And then we'll give her some more fluff. Fluff, 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 fluff. And then we'll come down here and we'll give her another little, little uh, arm. But we'll start it up here inside of her. Her fluff. So we'll go down like that and then an L. We'll just give her a little L. Right up to the fluff there. Right up against the fluff. And then we'll keep going with the fluff like this. Fluff, 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 fluff. <laughs> and then we'll give her a back leg that comes out like that. And then more fluff. Fluff, 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 fluff. And then we'll give her another back leg that goes out like that. And up like that, like a little L kind of. And then some more fluff, fluff, fluff. And then you know, all the way over like that, and then a little pointy bee tail thing, stinger. Just got a little stinger. All right, we're, I don't, you know, I, I didn't leave any room for the wings. What the heck was I thinking? <laughs> this bee, this bee's being difficult. Come on. All right, so we're gonna give her some stripes. <laughs> You're just gonna come out better. All right. <laughs> <laughs> let's try a different one. Let's try. Come on, let's try another one. It's like a lemon eyeball, a lemon eyeball, a, a little lips M with a U under it, and then we'll just do it like a. This time we'll go a little higher like that, and then a little lower like this. <laughs> oh, antennas. <laughs> and then, okay, this one's gonna be. We're gonna put the wings in there right away so we don't mess it up, alright? We're gonna put the wings like right there, and then a wing like right there. I think that's the important thing is to put the wing in there right away, alright? So then we're gonna put some fluff back there, and then some more fluff all the way around like this. Oh, I think I like it. This is maybe my favorite one. This is so simple, look. And then you put a leg back there like that, 
another leg right there, another leg right there, and then another little piece of the leg, another little piece of the leg, and another little piece of the leg, and then another little leg back there like that. Look at that one. That is perfect. Look at that. We finally got it. We got our bee. We finally got the bee. We deserved. <laughs> there we go. That's perfect. Now we just go and like add the stripes. Perfect. Look at that. Only took us like ten tries. <laughs> I know! This is a hard one! <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're, gonna draw, we're gonna draw this last guy. And this is the watermelon guy. Alright? He's gonna go like this. So you just draw a watermelon face. That's easy. You just draw a watermelon face. Which is a giant shape of a watermelon slice. We'll give him some skin on the edge there. And then we'll give them like a watermelon seed eye right there. Another watermelon seed eye right there with a little smile right there. And then it's going to have some antennas. It's going to have antennas right there. It's got like some antennas. And then, not santanas. I didn't say santanas. And then he's like a big fluff, right? He's going to go fluff, 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 fluff. And then he's going to have like a little leg right there going out. And then fluff, 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 fluff. And then another little leg coming out like that. And then fluff, 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 fluff. And then another little leg. And then fluff, fluff, fluff. And then we're going to stripe his legs. Make them stripes. And then make these stripes. And then he's going to have a tail that's like an ice cream cone. And he doesn't have wings. He just flies. That's it. Thank you for drawing along. Let's draw one more bee. Let's draw a watermelon bee. All right, it's a watermelon bee. Watermelon head! He's got some seeds up here like this. He's got some things coming out. He's got a wing back here and a wing back here. I think that's the key is to draw the wings first. So you don't like not know where to put them. I think that's the trick. And this is my favorite one so far. We're gonna put a little leg out like this. We're gonna put a little leg out like this. Put a little leg out like that. Don't even need to see that other one. And then we're gonna give them stripes. Voila. And he's fly. He's got the little. Oh wait, he needs a. He needs a little thing back there, ice cream cone. There we go. That's my favorite one so far. <laughs> Give him bigger eyes. I don't know. We'll just leave it. Thank you for drawing along. That was fun. It was a really long one, too. Join us next time when we draw Bigfoot. <laughs> draw along with me. We're going to draw a lion today. Draw with me a lion. Do you got a pencil or a pen? Let's draw. Let's draw. Ready? 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 Okay. Here we go. Ready? Okay. So we start with a little triangle like that for the nose. We're going to draw a little nose like that. And then we'll go down here and we'll just draw the lips that go around like this. Those are lips. I swear. Okay. And then you're going to draw like a little thing that goes like this. He's smiling, right? Maybe. I don't know. We're going to draw a couple of these because I don't know what I'm doing. All right, and then we'll just put eyeball right here, and then another eyeball right here. This is a cute lion, as you can see, he's smiling, right? And then we'll go put his bottom chin. That's his chin, his fuzzy little chin. All right, now we're going to give him ears, like right there and right there. Little ears. They're fuzzy, fuzzy ears. Now we'll put the inside right here. Whoop, whoop. And then you do a little, a couple little hairs coming out, a couple little hairs on that side. And then we're gonna, well this is the cool part, you put the top of his hairdo, the, the, the part that connects his forehead to his hairdo, so you go like that. And then we're going to put like kind of like the same thing like right here. And then we're going to put his mane in there, all right, mane.
There we go. And now it's like a big old hairdo. And then maybe you could add like a little body with a little tiny foot and another little foot and another little foot and like a little, little foot. He's got a big old fluffy tail or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's your choice. All right. We'll go do another line right here. This one's going to be have a big eyeball like that and a big eyeball like that. We're going to give this one giant eyeballs, right? It's very big eyeballs. He's going to have a nose like right here. And it's going to go, kind of go in like that. It's like a triangle, but it's more, it's got the little, the little swoops on the side there. So then I'm going to go straight down like this. Whoop, whoop. He's got his little lips. I'm going to give him his bottom chin. And then we'll give him some, oh, this guy, look, we forgot to give this guy whiskers. Let's go put the dots in there. We'll put some dots in there. I always forget the whiskers. Why, Michael? All right. So then this guy is gonna give him an ear up here like this, another ear up here like this. It's kind of like a cougar guy, maybe. I don't know. It's very cartoony. We'll give him another forehead thing, another little, and and then we'll give him his big old hairdo. It's very important to have big hairdo like this for the lion. And it's going rawr, rawr, rawr. Maybe we'll add some teeth right there. And his mouth will color it in so it looks like he's going raw. All right, now we're going to draw another one. But this one is going to be very serious. It's a very serious lion. Very importantly serious. All right, we get the eyeball over here like this. We go, we have another eyeball over here like this. And then take his nose. Instead of a triangle, we're going to make like a T kind of shape thing. So we'll go like this, and then like this. And then down like this, and then like this, and like this. I don't know, I don't know, that's not a T. I don't know what that is. I don't even know what's right. Let's just go like this and make it up as we go along. And then maybe he's got like eyes like down here like this. And maybe he's got eyes like that. I don't know, I'm just making this up. I don't, it doesn't look like a lion, it kind of looks like a llama. It's a llama. I don't know what this is. It's an animal, but let's turn it into a lion. <laughs> There, oh, that's, I like that. That's a nice development. Put an ear out here like this. Another ear out here like this. Oh, I like it. It's for nice. It's for good. Let's put a little top of the thing. Another little thing. And then we'll put this big fat mane up there. It's a lion. Look. You could even make it like a heart shape, like that. So it's like a big, look at that, that's cool. My pen is dying. My pen is dying. Ah. <laughs> Thank you for drawing a lion with me. I would like to see your lion. Please show it to me, I want to see. And then when you're done, come hang out with us on Twitch and follow me on Instagram and stuff. Hello, 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 we're going to draw this little tiny burb, little burb, here's a burb, a uh, bird, a little, maybe like an owl, I don't know, what is that, what is that little guy, I don't know, we're going to draw him right here though, ready, he's got big old eyeballs, you got a pencil, get a pen, get a pencil, get a pen, circle like that, whoa, that's a big circle, I'm going to make him bigger, and then another circle like that, <laughs> And then another, and then we'll do like the, the big pouty eyes. Oh, 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 I'm a bird. And then we'll stick his little pupils in there like this. Little. You want to kind of keep these, you know, like a nice separate, like balanced, like uh, not like me. <laughs> this one we're gonna stick like a, a big like reflection circle at the top. And then we're going to stick another reflection circle, like right there. So like an eight. So I'm going to stick a reflection circle at the top and then another reflection circle right below it. And then we're going to fill in that spot next to it. I think I'm just going to do this a little bit different because why not? And then we'll fill in this spot right here. The little reflection circles are looking cool. All right. Fill it in like this. Very good. Very good. Fill it in. Okay, we're good. Now we're gonna put the lines in there. See right there, I kind of bunched them up and they're a little too tight. So I'm gonna make them a little bit 
spread out over on this one here. We'll spread them out just a little bit more. You gotta make sound effects. It's very important to make sound effects. Then you go. Then some more. And it's, you know, it's okay if you go outside of the lines like that, you know. Gives it character. Gives it a little bit of character. Even though that's what you're doing, you're drawing a character. Alright, so the top of his head I did flat over here, but I'm gonna just give it a little bit of roundness over here. And then I'm gonna make his ears go like that. Like that. And then you can see over here I fluffed him out really big. I did like a big fluff around. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna just add this edge. But see, we're gonna remember that we're gonna put wings in there. So kind of put like a little, like make it like a wing right there. Just just the outline. We're just doing the outline right now. It's good. So you start up here, and you go, fluff, 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 fluff. Here's the wing. So you want to kind of go in a little bit, and then fluff, 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 fluff. And then here's the wing. So you want to go in, and then fluff, 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 fluff. There you go. Very good. Nice. And so now for the feet, you just, it's really easy. You just put the little line like this, and then another little line like this. And then the, the feet part, I like to do like this every time, because I, when you, especially when you're putting it on a branch. When, you, when he's flying through the air, they tuck, they tuck him in. You don't really need to see him. You just put some lines in there. But when he's on a branch like this, uh, he's got these little toes, right? So I just go... And then I put that back thumb, and then I put the little, put the little thumb there, and then put these toes like this. So there's his little feet, right? So you just do like a little loops for the toes. You like one loop, two loop, three loops, and then little fourth loop. I don't know if he has more toes than that. I don't know. I never met the guy. And then I put some nails on there. Or I'll just put a line for his nail. And then there's back there, you don't really put the, the, the thumbnail because there's going to be a branch right there. So you just go connect that. And then out here you go and then over here you go and then down here you go and then maybe you could like add a little so you can see that it's like a, it's a tree, right? Maybe stick a little leaf on there like that. That way, you know, people know it's a, it's a tree. Also, you could put like a cool pattern on there like that or something neat to make it, you know, visibly noticeable like a tree. All right, now we're going to put a little beak on there. You could do the beak a couple of different ways. You could do it like that, or you could do like a big fat beak like this. Like that, just a big beak. Now you could just leave it like that, or you could uh, stick another little part of the beak underneath where you go boop, boop, like that. It looks a little more layered, kind of has like a layered effect. Okay, now we're going to go down to underneath the wings where we were just at. We made these little things. We just go, tweet, tweet, tweet. And then right here, just go, tweet, tweet, tweet. and then we have a little burb. There he is. He's sitting on the branch, looking up in the sky. Maybe he's got little bees or something around him. Maybe he's like, maybe he's thinking about food or something. Maybe he's like, oh, I want a cupcake. Oh, the cupcake. Oh, that would be so good right now. A cupcake, a nice hot cupcake with the sprinkles on it or something. I don't know, maybe he's like that. Oh, yeah, it's all nice and hot and smells good. You know, the smell is going through the air. Or maybe you could put some clouds back here like I did in the other one. Maybe put like a mountain back here. We go... Because that's the way mountains sound. Maybe put some other trees back here like this. You can do all kinds of things. You can just add a whole thing. You can give him like a big old necklace with like a clock on it or something. With a, you know? You're like, <laughs> do whatever you want. It's just your drawing. I want to see it. What did you draw? Send it to me. I want to see your burb. Or bird. Or whatever. Your owl. You, know, you can make him spotted. You could be like a spotted owl. You can do that. Hello, humans. We're going to draw a dragon. That's right. 
A dragon, a roller skating dragon. Got a pencil, got a pen, get it together, kids. Come on, parents. Come on, people with pens and pencils. We're going to draw this right now. Right now, ready? Here we go. So this little guy, I just came up with him a second ago. And now we're going to draw them together. So where did I start? I started with his nose and his eyes. So I kind of wanted, I was, had an idea of where I was going to put his nose. And so I went like, boop, nose right here. And then I, and then I put like an eyeball back here and then an eyeball right there. Like that. So that's kind of where I started. I was like, I kind of want it like that with the little nose. So then I, then I just did this right here. I connected, I made this little bump, and then it went boop, and then another little, and then a little ear, and then down here. Oop, I forgot this ear. We'll just stick that in there like that. She's got these little knobs for ears. Look at mine already looks a little different. See, he's got a bigger head right there. So I should have went back further. Maybe let's just, let's just, uh, let's just go back a little bit further like that, and we'll turn that into something else. That could be like his hairdo coming down. Or something. Anyways, we're gonna go back up to the nose, come down a little bit, and then go straight back up so he could smile. Like this. Now we're going to put a tooth right there, we're gonna put a tooth right there, and then another tooth right there. And then he's gonna get the bottom half of his his right here. Kinda looks like a like a like some kind of like alligator dude. But you know, dragons are kinda like alligators. So then this next part is fun. So you're gonna draw his uh his horns up here and put them back there like that one coming out from behind his ear like that so then we're gonna go straight down like this and then leave a little break right there for his hand coming out we're gonna leave a little break and then we're gonna just go like that and then we're gonna just make this big giant circle like this and we're gonna come all the way back up to his head like that so we're just like that swoop it on up to that corner and then we're gonna stick a little hand right here and go woo 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 and then cut that off and we'll stick another little hand right here and go woo 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 and go down there and then and this other part's fun too this is the next parts I like this part too this guy's fun to draw it's really fun to draw all right so then we're gonna put this back his back on there like this we're gonna swoop it around we we'll start from like right above his hand but you know in between his hand and his chin where it connects to his neck so like right in the middle right there i'm going to grab that and we're just going to go wow and then like right here he gets a little foot that comes out and then boop and then back and then right here you're going to do another one yeah all the way to the very bottom so like right at the very bottom in the middle and then you're going to make a, another little foot just like that one. And then you're going to keep going until it wraps all the way around. See right here to his hand. So we're going to wrap it all the way around. But we're going to keep it kind of close to his body. And then push it in right there at his hand. Okay, the next part's fun too. We're going to put his tail on there. I made this tail kind of long. I, I really kind of want to make it shorter and fatter. So we're going to start like right here and just go like that just straight to there like a big curve and then at the end of that we're going to put a little arrow like that so and then you're going to come in like that just make a little doot doot doot. and then you're going to go like this around and then connect it to right there and so then we're going to put like you know, some of the rings on his thing to make it look like a tail we'll put like a like a tight two lines next to each other and then we're going to space that out we'll put another two lines right here and another two lines and then another two lines and you want to make that like curve so it looks like his tail is like a nice curve shape there we go or it's got like that roundness to it it looks like a rat tail kind of anyways it's my dragon tail right all right now we're going to paint some, or draw some little skates on him. We're going to draw these little, basically little domes that go like that. And then come around with the circle, half circle, or like a, a roundish line like that. What do you call that? A curve? A curve. All right. I'm going to put another one right there, another little gumdrop. Gumdrop. Gumdrops. 
a good name for it. And then we're going to add these little soles, where you just collect these little platforms of the, sh of the roller skates. Now you can leave them like that, or you could add some lines in there like this. It's fancy. There you go. Now you got some fancy. Fancy. And then you just draw two circles down there, like this. Whoop. 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 There you go. You got some circles. And then it's th these spikes here are optional. You don't really have to do those. But we're going to put a couple of them in there. I'm going to space them out a little bit more than I did before. And then make them smaller as I go down. Whoop, 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 whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. Like that. Kind of looks cool like that. I like that. All right, now we're going to put some lines up in his horns the same way I did it right here. Where I just did two lines like that real close and then two lines like that. Two lines like that and two lines like that. There. Looks cool. All right. Oh, wait. We forgot this part in the middle, his belly. But see, I, I kind of didn't like how it turned out there. So I'm going to do it a little bit more spaced out like this. And I'm going to stick with the two line thing because I think it looks cool. We're going to do two lines real close and then space it out and then two lines real close and then space it out and then two lines real close and then we'll we'll put one more at the top here just like this like it's his necklace or something there and then you got his little arms right there now you can put lines on his arms if you want that's optional you don't have to do that and then maybe we'll just stick a couple lines like this on his neck that's, that's pretty good. All right, the one thing I forgot over here is both of his nostrils. He's got both of his eyes, but he only has like one nostril showing. So I'm gonna go put another nostril right here. So now he has like two nostrils. Isn't that cool? And then we're gonna add a little round, little edge to that, like that. There we go. Well, now we'll draw the shadow. So like, if he's like on the ground right here, his foot's gonna have a shadow way out here. So we're just gonna go at an angle and try to keep the shadow lines all in one direction. So we'll go And then he's got his leg right here where it's really small. And his body. And then his little skate. And then his big ass, or his big old tail. Oops. There we go. Now we've got dragon. Oh, I dropped my mouse. We've got roller skating dragon. And then you sign your name down here. And then maybe put the year. And there you go. Very good. Very good. Very good, very good, very good. Let's see right here. Let's go. And then we could put like a background line like that. Voila. Nice. I like it. I like it. All right, everybody, go and make your dragons. I want to see them. Send them to me. I want to see your dragons. We're going to draw a cat in space. Cats in space. We're going to draw a cat in space. We're going to draw a cat in space. We're going to draw a cat in space. Here we go. You ready? You ready? Here we go. Here we go. You ready? Here we go. Ready? Here we go. Get a pen, get a pencil. I got a Sharpie. Look, Sharpie, rub a dub dub. All right, here we go. Cat in space, he needs a helmet. <laughs> gotta have his little helmet there. I'm gonna put his little ears up here. Little nose right there. Little mouth right there. Little eyeball, eyeball. And then we'll do the little part of the, the, the front part of the, we'll just put him in there. Look, he's in there. We'll do like the back part of the thing right here. And then he's in the suit, right? So we gotta make a big cat suit. Just like that. Just like a little head in a spaceship. No, not like that. So we're gonna add a little arm right here, like this. I'm gonna add a little arm like this. Maybe he's got like a cat claw. He's got a claw, his robotic claw arm. And the suit's gonna go back up here like this. And then up over here. And then it's gonna go down like this. And then he's gonna have a leg down here. Look, his little leg pops out like this. And then we're gonna continue his body over here to the next leg, and then add a leg down in there like that. And then we're gonna go all the way up in there. And then his front of his thing has like a little respirator thing. 
So we're gonna put that little respirator thing like right there. And it's got some lines in it like that. And then now it's got like, it's got like a little box around it like this. And so we'll go like, we'll just make it like this. Don't go all the way so we can add little tubes. Right, so then we're gonna put a little tube right there and we'll put another little tube right there. Perfect. Okay, and then, so maybe he's got like another cat claw over here like this. He's got claws. Maybe he's got his big moon boots like this. You just draw little circles around those sticks like that. And then you draw a boot goes down. And then like that, and then you draw the bottom of the boot. And then another little bottom. And then the bottom part like that with the little, little platform underneath there. Those are some big boots. All right. And we'll connect these. <clears throat> these are his moon boots. So he's got a little moon on there. We'll put a little moon on there. Voila. Okay, now he's like floating in space, right? So we're going to put some stars out there like that. And then we're going to put a planet. Maybe we'll put a planet like down here like this. There's a planet down here. Okay, and then what else we got in there? We got to put it like a... We gotta put like a space station. Well, let's put like a space station where it's like a giant mushroom, right? So we'll make like a like a like a little cylinder kind of thing that goes up like that, a little down like that. It's like a box, but it's got some roundness to it. And then we're gonna add like a platform for the people to land their spaceships on. So we could go out from behind it and then bring it around front and then go back out behind it like that. We'll add a little rim to the landing pad like this people could land right here and then go inside there's a little doorway right here so they go inside right here, right there and then right underneath it will continue we'll go like this and then we'll have it go loop down like that and then back up so this is part of the, the space station so the space station is a giant mushroom look it kind of looks like one and do another little thing like that and then we'll do like a, a dome we'll go like this whoa Look at that. I messed that up. Oh, whatever. It's fine. It's just a reflection. It's a reflection. That's right. It's a reflection. It's the dark side over there. Okay, inside, we're going to put some trees in there. Let's put some nice trees. We've got to have the trees in space. Because everybody gets lonely. They need some trees. Whoa. What was that? We need some trees in space right there. We'll put another tree right there in the background. We'll put another little tree. Or another little tree back there like that. All right, so we've got the little space station. Now we'll put some windows up there. Little portal windows. And then that's and then we'll put like another moon back here with some craters on it like this. Yes, we'll put some craters all over it, like stick some circles. It's like made of cheese or something like that. Okay, there's your moon. Okay, what else can we put up out there in space? We need a little spaceship down there. So we'll just put a little spaceship right there. And then we'll stick... We'll stick a big spaceship coming out like this. And then maybe he's got like headlights right here. He's got headlights. These are his headlights. He's got a sea in space, right? And then the top part, maybe he's got the top part of the bubble open. So he's like, the dome goes like this. And then it's like opened up right there, right? So, and then here's the inside of the ship with all the, with all the controls and stuff. He's got all the knobs and then the seat is like right there. But this is the top part. It's opened up. He let all the, the oxygen out. <laughs> Anyways, he's ejected. He ejected. That's right. He's going down to the planet. We'll, put, we'll stick like a thing right here. Another little continent right there. And some, some rain. Some peoples. All right, there we go. Maybe they got a little moon down there. Perfect. Cat in space. You, you draw a cat in space now. I want to see your cat in space. Can I see it? Send me a picture. Come over to Twitch. Let's draw some crystals. Let's draw some crystals. Hey, everybody, get a pen, a pencil, marker. Let's draw some crystals. More! I looked at the video I did last time of the crystals I painted, and they were, or drew. They were not, I didn't like them. So I'm going to do some more. Um, I drew these other ones real quick as a practice. I think I think I'm just gonna redraw what I just drew. Wait, where'd it go? Here it is. So I drew this just now. Now I'm gonna redraw that, but just a little bit tighter, a little better than that. There you go. 
All right, so we'll just put this here. I'm gonna put that over there as a reference. I'm gonna draw this real quick. Whoa, there's a hair there. I'm gonna try to hurry through this because I'm recording the video. So, let's go. Ready? All right. First, we're gonna start with the pointy one in the middle here. Boop, boop, like a little pyramid. Oh, I see a big comet. I'll go get that in just a sec. Hold on, okay. And then we're gonna put like a, we're gonna make like an obelisk. I like to say that word, obelisk. <laughs> is that a word? This is for those things that they'd steal from Egypt and they put all over the world. Yeah, obelisks. All right, and then we'll put like right here, we'll make another little pyramid back here. We'll go down like that. And then we'll make like another little one back here. Not so little. We'll go straight up like that and then down like that. This is good. This is good. All right. We'll do another one right here. Like kind of coming out at the side, and then we'll go we'll go straight up into the pyramid part of it, and then we'll come straight down like that. And so this will be like our line across, like that. And then we'll do like a big, we'll do like this big, and then back here, and then connect that one. So that one's kind of like just huge. And then we're gonna put a bunch of little small ones coming out like this, pointy, like this. It's gonna be like a cluster. Another one coming out like that. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So we're going to do like a little tiny ones. And we'll go down. And another little pointy one like that. Go down. Then you can add a couple behind there like this. That one's probably bad placement. But whatever, it's fun. No, that's fine. Looks good. Actually, we can go like this. Now it's like all thick behind there. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add depth. So I'm going to add a couple lines to give it some depth. Maybe like right here, and then connect this line. And then we'll do the little diamond thing. That's a good trick. So do the diamond. So you make it, you turn the top part into a diamond, and then just add a line. That's a good one. Uh, I like to do this where you just kind of offset it like that, and then come straight down like this. Kind of gives it like it's a weird angle. And then just connect that one there. And then this one over here, we'll just kind of make it the little diamond thing. And then go straight in. Do another little diamond. All right, we're going to stick a couple more in the back there. Like right there. And just do like a big pyramid. Another one right here, just kind of bigger like this. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll add a little depth. All right, that looks cool. I like that. And then, okay, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to like kind of add some lines so it gives it even more depth, right? More depth. So we're going to add a couple shading lines. So we're going to pick like one side. So I'm going to pick like this side, this side, this side, this side, this side, this side. So everything that is on like this side of the crystal. So I'm going to go here like this just real quick. You know, and... Oh, I forgot right here. Look. There we go. And then try to keep them all the same angle, like when you do the shading, and it just looks cleaner, you know. I'm not saying this is the best, but I'm just doing it quick for the video. And then you can take your time and make it look all real nice. And we're going to do them all at the same angle, all the shading, same angle. And we're going to keep them all on the same side of the crystal. So pick all the all the boxes that are on the, this side. Like right here. Alright, so then we got a nice little cluster. Now we're gonna add some little grass tufts. A little grass tuft here. A little grass tuft. A little tuft over here. A little tuft. And then we're gonna add some like nice little mushrooms right here. And we're gonna put like a little cap on that one which like right there. And maybe a little silhouette of a mushroom right here. Just put that down there like that. That's easy. And another little silhouette of a mushroom right there. And maybe another like big one over here. Whoa, it's out of the screen. Another big one over here. Like that. Maybe we could put like a giant one in the back like this. With the stem like that coming out of it. And then this would be like a... <laughs> some dots up here. Maybe like a giant... You can put like a caterpillar up there like this. He's like, hmm. 
with this big eyeball like that and he's got a little thing with the hookah right here and he's like who are these crystals all right oh you didn't see it it's up there that's his little he's like a banana slug kind of <laughs> all right draw some pictures of crystals i want to see your crystals let me show them, show them to me send me pictures i want to see your crystals Hello, hello. How's it going? We're gonna draw a moon base. You got a pencil, you got a pen? Get it, get it, go grab it. Go grab it, we're gonna draw a pen. Wait, we're gonna draw a moon base. You're gonna need a pen or a pencil. So if you don't have one, go grab one. Mm. Oh, I love that, it's delicious. So when I was young, I used to run home from school and watch this show. Um, it was called The Draw Squad. We used to all draw pictures together of like space stuff and moons and spaceships and stuff. And it was like my favorite thing. Oh, I loved it. It was the best. And you know, that guy still does stuff to this day. He's still, he's got a YouTube channel and everything. Look him up, his name is Mark. I can't remember how, or I don't want to mess up his last name, so I'm not going to say it. But Draw Squad Mark. Just type that into YouTube and you'll find it. But he's a cool dude with the mustache and he's got like all these like pens and pencils up and down his arms. It's great. But he was fun and he used to draw like just, he got me really interested in drawing when I was a kid, and it was fun to draw along with him, just like we're about to draw along right now. And so I was thinking, I was thinking, right? I was thinking, I'm gonna put the moon in there in the background, kind of like that first, and then another half of the moon down here, like that. I was thinking, I should not try to tone down my language when I do these. So I'm just gonna try to keep it clean and straight to the point of drawing. All right, we're not gonna get all on a tangent and ramble on about something random. And I'm gonna try not to curse, but you know, I do. I'm a sailor sometimes, but sometimes I'm not. So let's try to keep it clean for the kids. I'm gonna draw a moon base. I'm not gonna be like, this is for kids, but at the same time, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to keep it nice and clean. So anyways, let's draw this moon base. Let's do it. Because when I was a kid, I had something to watch and draw along with, you know? And so if any kids out there are watching this, look at that. It's like a dome. Look at the dome. I'm going to draw a dome. I'm going to put it above the ground a little bit like that. Then we're going to have it come down all the way like that. So we got the top of the dome. And then we're going to add like a layer like that. Nice layer. Look at that. And then down below the, the dome, we're going to add like another thing that pops out like this. Like that. So now we got the dome, the moon base dome, right? So what goes in? The, what goes in there? What goes in your moon base? It's a little bit above the ground, right there. See, in our in our original picture, it's above the ground. So we're gonna draw all this in there. So we got like where our spaceships are gonna land and all this. But we gotta draw our dome first. So here we go. We've got the dome. I'm gonna stick some trees in there. I'm gonna do a little. Ch -ch 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 little line and then a tree then we, get, we need some like big puffy fruit trees in there so we'll stick those in there here's another puffy fruit tree and another a big old orchard over here all right and a couple of them and then we're gonna stick some buildings in there that's where we're gonna live we're gonna put a little house like that i like to make houses like this where, where they have like multiple stories so maybe this first level's got a couple little windows there this is like really far away so the windows are just dots and then you put like a little layer up like this layer up like that and then we're gonna make like a little mushroom cap uh roof so you're gonna go across straight across like that and then make a little mushroom cap boop and then we'll put like a little antenna on there maybe another antenna over here that's a cool little building and we got a little house in there now we can add a couple more trees in the back the one right here, maybe a couple little rows of like a garden or something down there. It's like a little fence or a garden or something. All right, now we're going to put uh, the, the middle layer right here. This is where like everybody lives down here, where all the maintenance, all that stuff happens. We'll, st we'll stick a couple windows down here. Like I said, it's really far away, so those windows are tiny. All right, so then we're gonna have the bottom layer, the base layer of the moon base. So we're gonna grab, 
we're gonna go straight up from like where we want to put it we're gonna put it like right here and then we're gonna go up and then just over a little bit like that so you can like have a little lip coming out right there so then maybe you can start on this one you can just start from there and go out a little bit and then go down like that there you go so now you got your bottom of your moon base so the next thing we're gonna do is gonna make a little uh, landing pad garage area so we're gonna we're gonna add like a little trying a rectangle here Whoosh, little rectangle that's gonna be our garage door so then we're gonna we're gonna add like a little edge to the little frame for that door there we go now it's got like a fr this is a little wonky right here let's try to straighten that out it's okay I messed it up you know what I do sometimes when when I do that when I get a little line in there I'll just go oh this thing is gonna be striped then We'll just stripe it. We'll just stick lines on it like that. Look at, can't even tell I messed up. Perfect. I wasn't a mess up. All right, then we go. We'll go like this. Then we'll go grab the corner of the, the 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 corner right here, right on the edge of the doorway, and we're gonna go out like this. So we're gonna go out and make a straight line across, and then we're gonna go back in. That way it gives it like some perspective, and like it's the coming out at us, right? So then. In the background, behind the door frame, like r maybe like right in the middle there, we're gonna grab it and go like a line across. Maybe make a little couple little things, little mess ups, and then make it straight again. So you know, it's got some little textures back there. Something's happening. Maybe there's like a little bush in the back, or something. I don't know. So, anyways, we're gonna stick some spaceships here. I'm gonna stick a spaceship like right there. You can make your spaceships however you want. Maybe it's like a triangle right there with some feet. Maybe it's like a little Jetsons car. I don't know. So, so then we're going to stick the front of this on here like this. That's the front of the building. Maybe there's like little rocks down here like this. Well, anyways, we're going to take this, the edge of the building, and we're going to wrap it in here like this. And take this edge and we're going to wrap it in here like that. So you kind of do it at like a, a curve, a little bit of a curve. So it kind of gives it that, that round depth. See how up here I have this curve and then this down here I have that curve. This one, maybe you should do a little curve here, like that. And we could stick like a cool window down here. That's really long with some like little segments in it. I don't know, you can experiment with it. And then we'll connect these back here. Okay, now we're gonna stick, we're gonna stick some uh, craters down here. So we're gonna just go like this. And then we're gonna do the back side of the crater. Where you, like that. Maybe put a crater on the horizon. Like that. Stick a crater out there. Oops. Let's put another, I was trying to draw it while looking in the camera. Put another crater right here. But in this crater, we're gonna, before we put the backside on, we're gonna stick a little dude in there. So we're just gonna go up, straight up like that. We're gonna put an ear on him, and go straight over and put another ear and then go down. And then we'll put two dots here for eyeballs. He doesn't need a mouth. We don't need no mouth. So then we're gonna go in like this, and then go. We'll just wrap around. We'll tuck him in there, into his little, his little hole. <laughs> we'll stick another one right here. And then we'll stick the little guy in there like that. Give him some ears. Go across. Give him another ear. Go down. Two dots for eyes. Boop. And then we'll stick the back side of that crater in there. There you go. And, got to, and then you can make a couple of little craters just like that. Stick some more rocks in there. You know, maybe you got some like cool, cool like light things out here so that you know where to land or something. And you could stick like a light post here with a little circle. You could stick a light post out here with a little circle so you know where your moon base is. Stick another one like over here. Or these could be like mushrooms, you know. You could have like mushrooms growing up on the side of the building over here. You stick some more dots over here like this. You could, oh, and you could shade this back here. You could shade the back of the garage in like that. Some lines going to the side. That's kind of cool. What else did we do? What else did we do? We put the little dude in there. Got a bunch of lights. Oh, you put the earth in the background. So you put the earth back there. You don't really have to make it look just like the earth. You can just put some lines like that and another line like this. And people get the idea, right? <laughs> put some dots on there. Some clouds. It's the earth. <laughs> and then you, you know, of course, put some dots out there for stars. There's, it's not, or you could color that in black, maybe. Could all, color all this in black. But I ain't got the time for that. But thanks for watching. 
thanks for uh, drawing along. I would like to see your moon base. Send me a picture. That's pretty cool. Thanks for watching. Hello and welcome to the eyeball part of this thing. We're going to draw an eyeball real quick. You don't know how to draw an eyeball? Well, sit down for 30 seconds and grab a pencil and a pen and we're going to draw an eyeball real quick. Real easy. Simple. Eyeball. I'm not even sure what I'm going to do here, but we're going to do something. So, I usually draw multiple kinds of eyeballs. We could draw like a realistic eyeball where we go like this. We go, and then stick the eyeball down there like that. Okay, wait. Not realistic. Just one type of... It's not realistic. All right. So, then we'll put this like right here. We'll go to the circle like that. We'll put another circle in there like that. And then we'll put another, we'll get that, you know how there's like the reflection? All right, we'll put the reflection like right there, a little circle, like a reflection circle in there like that. Okay, and then we're going to fill this one in like this. And then, so that outside part right here, this part is like the part with all the lines and stuff in there, the colors and stuff. So then you put, just really lightly put some lines in there like that. And then you want to leave like another reflection kind of thing like that. And then, okay, and then you put the bottom part of the eyeball goes like this. Like that. Like that, right? Because you got to think inside there, there's like a circle. The eyeball is like a circle in there. It goes like this. It's like a big ball right there. Like that. <laughs> so you kind of have to think about how you can enclose that ball inside of a, inside of some skin. And so sometimes you even get that little part of the eye up there that goes like that. So there's an eyeball. All right, let's do another one. More cartoony, maybe. So one of my favorite cartoon eyeballs goes like this. There's an eyeball. And then you put that little Pac-Man in there. You do the little Pac-Man thing. You go... And put that little... It's like a Pac-Man eyeball. And then you can, like, that you know, put another one right there like that. And then make a little Pac-Man. So you got the Pac-Man. So you got the Pac-Man eyeball. I like that one because it's very simple. What is it? Like Felix the Cat? I think I always had that one. All right, the, another one is like, you do the eyeball puff right here with the cheek, the cheek puff, and then you do the little, <laughs> this is like a Disney eyeball. Seems very Disney, doesn't it? All right, then you put a little half circle like that, up like that, and another little pupil. And the same thing with the, kind of like with this one, you wanna fill that in, but leave a little reflection circle in there. And then you add the little lines in there like that. Then you got, then you got some eyeballs like that. All right. And then, you know, classic eyeball. Look at that. Let's use that dot right there. There's a dot. Let's use this dot. So then you can put like a thing around it like that. And then like a thing like that. And then a thing like that. And then you could like put some lines like that. And then go like that. And then you maybe do some eyelashes where you go like this. You want to make sure the eyelashes get smaller towards the end and then they get longer in the middle. So you just do tiny little ones and then you get longer. And the tiny little ones. And then you, you got an eyeball right there. And then, okay, so a couple things with the eyeballs that you could do is like, the way I always start them is I put that little, there's like an eye lid part right there. So you wanna put the eye lid in there and then you put the eyeball and then you position the eyeball in there like that. And then maybe put another little thing like that. You know, just like a little. That's a good little eyeball right there. Sometimes the simplest thing works the best, you know? And uh, a lot of times with eyeballs, if you just if you just make them smaller, I think one of the first things I always made a mistake with when drawing eyes on things was I made them too big. Like if you're just trying to make it look a little bit realistic, draw them smaller. Draw your eyeballs like really tiny like this, where they're just barely open like that. You just got this tiny little creeper eyeball. Peering through, so he's like, he's creeping. He's creepy. He's got a little creepy eyeball on there. His tiny little eyeball. Look at him. And there's his eyelid. And then there's gonna be like an eyebrow up there, like that. You know. So that's kind of like a that's a cool eyeball right there. And another thing would be like another another eyeball would be like just circles. You know, just pure circles like that. That works sometimes. That works the best. It's just for like cartoon characters. Just a dot. It's, it's good. You can have all kinds of expression to it. You can add these, you can add like this, make them look worried, you know, you can add like, you can make it just go like that and make them look all suspicious, you know, and you have give them some evil eyebrows, and it's like, Ugh, you know, so you can do a lot with eyeballs. So let's draw one more realistic eyeball real big. 
one more realistic eyeball real big. Ready? 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 Here we go. And then... And then we'll stick a, the eyeball like right here. And then we'll stick the bottom of the thing like right here. Like this. Boop. And then we'll go like in here. We'll do the in, inner part like that. And then we'll add another, the pupil part right there. And then we'll put the little reflection. We'll put the reflection thing like out here. And then we'll do another one like in there. So maybe you got an outer reflection and the inner reflection. And then we're gonna color that in like that. And then we're gonna add lines to this one. Maybe do a little darker at the top. It's like shaded. And then, uh, and then there you go. Oh wait, I did it. I did it wrong. Look, I did it wrong. Let's color all this in, like that. Look, I'm not even paying attention. And then you do the lines here. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else got that. All right. <laughs> it's okay to mess up. It's all right. Look, look, look at it. Look at it. It's an eyeball. All right. Let's make another one right here. But this time a little bit less slanty and a little bit more realistic. Maybe it goes like up like that and then down like this. And then you put one inside there like that. Another one inside there like that. You stick the eyeball like right there and then put the pupil like right there and then a little reflection and then the It's fun to just do a, fill a whole page with eyeballs too. You know, stick some eyelashes on there like that. And it's okay if you guys don't get any of these exact or like mine at all. The thing is, seeing me do it will, will improve you doing eyeballs. Mine aren't even that good. Yours are probably way better than mine already. But I'm just doing a whole bunch real quick. So let's see. Here's a circle. Here's another circle. Here's a little pupil. And then you got the outer layer. Alright. Did you draw some eyeballs? Maybe your eyeballs are bloodshot. Maybe you got some bloodshots like that. Maybe maybe they're like, maybe you got eyelids like way down there like that. Maybe you got an eyelid like right there like that. I don't know. What kind of eyeball you got? I want to see your eyeball. Flight to the navigator. Nice. Hmm. Show me your eyeballs. I want to see it. me pictures of your eyeballs. I want to see them. Send them, I want to see them. Show them to me. Did you draw along? Are you drawing along? 